Guess what? It's Friday. Happy Friday. I am Camille and I hope your Friday is going well. I am a homeschool mom of two, an eight and a 10 year old. And today I want to teach you how I teach language arts, how I teach language arts. So um, the last video I showed you how I teach reading through the McGuffey's. Um, I'm still gonna be talking about the McGuffey readers, but um, I wanna show you how I use them, use them for the language arts curriculum. Language arts includes grammar, spelling, handwriting, vocabulary, composition, and public speaking. Um, and so you're like, wait, well, if you're thinking how I'm thinking, schools have broken these things up into separate entity, entities of their own. Like you're gonna have a reading, you're gonna do vocabulary, your spelling is separate, like everything is separated. Well, um, I found a resource that holds them all together and you can get it done in about 15 to 20 minutes using the McGuffey readers and here's how we do it. All right, so last week I did show you, or the whenever that was, you guys, I showed you the McGuffey's first eclectic reader and the second eclectic reader. Um, I also have the third eclectic reader and the primer. Um, it's not primer, um, but those are the four that I have to for my set. And I did purchase them off of eBay. They were three dollars e a piece, so I felt that was cheaper for me at the time than to purchase the whole. Um, the whole kit from, you can buy the original McGuffey's. These are the revised, but they have the original McGuffey's that are at Mott Media for I think $120. So if you want the original, you could purchase those for $120. They also have, um, you can find the whole set of the revised on eBay as well, but those are about 130. So if you wanna spend that money, you can, but for me, I was going to purchase them individually and you, uh, be careful with the bottom because some say American book company, New York, Cincinnati, and Chicago. And then others at the bottom say John Wilkins. So you want to try and match those up, um, for your, for your set, if for whatever set it is that you want to do. But, um, so these are the McGuffey readers. Uh, but before I purchased these, I had found the readers online. If you've ever heard of internet, archive you can find the McGuffey readers there you can also go on google books and download the get the books for free just go to your um, go to your google go to google books type in McGuffey eclectic readers and they will all come up from the primer all the way to the sixth eclectic reader and they are free you can download them and have them on your laptop you can print them out and you can bind them together um, yourself or you can go to um, what is it that you could go to like Office Depot or um, your local printing uh, mail spot, you know, your little neighborhood printing mail spot, they bind things as well. So if you want to be resourceful, you can get them for free, Internet Archive or Google Books. So I'm not really gonna show the inside of these books today because we have not used these for the lessons that we have done. But I did find a couple of copies of what we used before. So we're gonna be looking at lesson 11 for um, how I teach language arts. So also with this, with the McGuffey readers, your children are learning how to read Roman numerals as well. So at the beginning it says lesson 11. Now the girls are learning it and I think I thought that was pretty darn cool because what lesson are you on? And you have to count because if you know that X is 10 and then one is one and then you know you add it like that but i thought that was pretty cool so um like i had told you before you could print them out uh, download them from google and print them out so that's what i was doing but i found that uh that's that's that was cost effective for me with ink i wanted to use my ink in another way so but here's how we do it so if you look here you see that the the words are old and run and fox and it tells you it's a long o and it tells you it's a short u and then in the box it tells you the words again and so for um vocabulary the girls would go over each of these words say them aloud and o makes the o sound so it's phonics as well you're learning how what sound what each sound makes 
Then they would read the lesson to me. So this is the first step. We say, I would say the word, so I would say old, and then they would repeat what I said. Run, then they would say run. Fox, fox. What does O make? Oh. What does the U make? Uh, because it's short U, um, because of the, the diacritical on top. And then after that, I would read, can this old fox catch the hen? And then they would repeat it and read it how I said it. The fox can catch the hen and get the eggs in the nest. And they would repeat what I said and read it and uh, catch their mistakes. Run, Rab, and catch the fox. They would read it. And then this nest has eggs in it. Now, um, when it was uh, like this, this whole thing right here, they wouldn't copy it all. They would just copy this and that's in cursive, but they would repeat everything that I said. And um, when it came to it, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, when it came to it, they would write it. So our first step is to say our vocabulary up top. Then it's to read. Remember language arts has grammar and vocabulary and how to speak. Speech is preparing you for speech. So if you're reading this aloud and you're learning how words sound and everything, you see that, oh, okay, this is helping them speak well. Um, a little side note, I had went to my, mom the, uh, my mom's house the other day and she said that they speak, they're speaking better. And I was like, oh my gosh, it was the McGuffies because that's the only um, change that we've had. Uh, you know, there's no, they're not putting in filler words. They're just speaking and conversing with her and just they're just talking so i thought that was awesome so um these words up here we go back we think about spelling these will be their spelling words or vo vocabulary but these will be their spelling words and yes they are simple words because we started from the beginning i wanted to start from the beginning and try to fill as many gaps as i could um with with what they had learned so far now the next part that we would do is dictation and that is to kind of how we do spelling tests. But this is, do you remember what you read? Do you remember what you saw? And will you put the punctuation correctly? So um, dictation is when I dictate the sentence back to them. So say, well, I can show you Beto. So this is, and this is a type of copy work as well. So they put their title their lesson, which is lesson number 11, their name and the date. So this is back in May. And so they wrote the words and yes, we are doing it in cursive. So um, I would write the sentence for them. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but I wanted them to practice their penmanship on cursive and how some letters should look, but I want them to develop their own way of um, of what their handwriting looks like as well. So if they copied mine, it was similar, cool, but what is, you know, what is your handwriting gonna look like? So they would copy it and then um, with, that's my oldest. And so they would also draw a picture. And so uh, that that's really how our language arts works. But with Ava, I did not do dictation, but I did do with Isabel. So this is Isabel's right here. And as you see, she did not write her title. But she did put her lesson, her name, and her date. Um, she wrote, copy her copy work. And then her dictation was, you will study the sentence, which I had wrote here. You will study the sentence, you'll read the sentence, I will dictate the sentence, and you will write the sentence. So, this nest has eggs in it, was what I read to her. And she wrote what I asked of her. Then she drew her picture, with the bad, mad dog running after the the fox because fox was trying to catch the eggs. So um, it, it's all comprehension as well with how you use the McGuffies. But so once again, I just have them. And then y'all, honestly, I got this sucker, this notebook for 25 cents um, at Walmart. So you know, I think they have their back to school stuff out already. So you could go buy like 10 of these and keep them and then once they're done like just move on to each lesson it doesn't matter how fast or slow you go with these books there's just it's whatever speed you want your child to go at so i have them i read the words 
I read the, um, the sentences, they're reading them back to me. There's dictation, they're writing, they're copy work. So doing this method of language arts, it helps with grammar, spelling, handwriting, vocabulary, composition, and with public speaking. Now, the grammar part is because they're doing copy work. And so if you're copying what you see and you're, you're having your letters capitalized, um, you're punctuating where it needs to be, your commas, your periods, your exclamation points, your question marks. Um, that's how it helps with grammar and, you know, parts of speech. Spelling, if you're writing out something, you get in, um, you get in the, uh, a technique of knowing, okay, this is how you spell this. And it also helps with them writing in cursive because cursive helps with muscle memory. That is helping with, oh, okay, I will re always remember how to spell old, especially if you're continually writing something over and over again. Um, handwriting, which is obvious. <laughs> if you're doing copy work, it's helping. So it's helping uh, your writing, your handwriting. A vocabulary, those words at the top, which you were saying. And then of course you're using them in a sentence and you're using context, context clues on what these words mean. Um, composition, writing, understanding, and public speaking. When you read aloud, I feel your, your child is preparing themselves on, you know, I can go out in public and I can speak. And that's what the McGuffey readers do. They are preparing our children in ways that I am amazed. From a book from the 1800s, and we're using it in 2023. And uh, I see the, how I, I, I believe, I'm stuttering, I believe every child should use the McGuffey readers. Um, maybe not starting from the first eclectic, but reading through and maybe not doing copy work, but reading through and saying the words aloud and reading the stories. Um, they are stories that are about moral, you know, like Aesop or, or um, stories from the Bible as well. So this is how I use the McGuffey readers to teach language arts. And it includes everything that I need and it gets done in 15 to 20 minutes. If you have any more questions on where to purchase the McGuffey readers, let me know. If you want to know more about how to get them for free, let me know. I will guide you to it. Um, we put so much emphasis on buying this big curriculum that's very colorful and we want it to be cool. What I've learned thus far in my homeschooling journey is that less is more. Simple, simple, simple. We, our children just need reading, writing, and arithmetic and play. And they get to absor absorb and observe other things that they are doing from play. So this has been an enhancement in my homeschool. So if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments below. I'm here to help. So I hope this blesses you. I don't have a verse this, uh, this week, but I'm gonna come back and put something in the, uh, the description box for you to uh, let you know I am thinking of you. So as always, I pray you have a blessed day. I pray you have a blessed week. I pray you have a blessed weekend and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>